half of the world may struggle to find water in the next 20 years. That's hard to believe as you stand on the shores of Lake Michigan. Here in like the city of Chicago, water is everywhere. Just blocks away, it's another liquid that draws people to Greg Schuff's new business. 12 weeks ago, he opened Dry Hop Brewers in Chicago, where each week he makes three varieties of his specialty craft beers. All the water for the beer comes in through this pipe right here. And but every batch of his beer like takes 1,800 gallons of water to make, and Greg knows with no water, there's no beer. The name of the game in brewing is sanitation, uh, so uh, having a good, clean water source is crucial for uh, accomplishing that. That's why Greg works to save water and to recycle it. One way is by taking water used in the brewing process and using it again for other jobs, like cleaning tanks or washing floors. And this water tank is something you actually use to reuse water. Yes, we, it's our major water supply and we collect water back into it. Dry hop and larger breweries like Miller Coors and Anheuser-Busch know conservation is crucial. Water stands out in the brewing process as a really obvious opportunity to do things better for your planet. So the dry hop staff turns off unused faucets, reuses water, and cuts back however it can. It's one of those things that it feels like, okay, I saved like one gallon. What's the significance of the one gallon? And it's one of those things you need everyone to save one gallon. So everyone has to do their small part in whatever way they can, and then it has a big effect. It's a big impact on what could be a big problem as pollution, population growth, and climate change threaten our water, and in turn, one of America's favorite drinks. In Chicago, I'm Janelle Klein, reporting for the Weather Channel.